creator of Get Crystallized products and services and welcome to the next Get Crystallized Tabata Challenge and Healthful Hint. Now with the holidays fast approaching, um, as you know my past few uh, YouTube videos I've been promoting books that I love to read and this one with the upcoming holidays I wanted to promote. It's entitled Water with Lemon. An inspiring story of diet-free, guilt-free weight loss by Zanya Boca and Stephen Moss. Now, this is a pretty cool book because what it does, it, it um, entails and enraptures eight diet-free habits that will change your life within an actual storyline. It's such a beautiful story. Um, I highly recommend that you read it, uh, especially if you have your New Year's resolution to live a healthier lifestyle. There are some really awesome tips in the back of this book um, that I'd love to share with you and you can get a head start before we ring in the new year. So I'm just going to take a second and I'm going to read you the eight diet-free habits that will change your life and in my blog at getcrystallized.ca, I will type it out in full detail so that you can, you know, photocopy it and you can put it up near your fridge or wherever you need to. And um, if you can, I highly recommend that you even pick up this book and read the novel that's within the story because it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, number one, and um, this was one of my tips before, but their number one tip is drink water. And I'm going to add to that. I'm going to challenge you guys to drink some warm water with lemon upon rising 30 minutes before your breakfast because it gets your digestive tract going and it just prepares your um, digestive system for the rest of the day. So I challenge you to try that off the top starting tomorrow, okay? First thing in the morning. And their second tip is include breakfast. And I know that you know, especially those who are super crazy busy in the morning. I suggest my clients, for example, to make a protein shake the night before, store it in your fridge, shake it up, take it with you on the go train, on the bus, on the subway, in your car. You can easily drink it um, while you're on the go. So please do not skip breakfast. And in the book, they say include breakfast. Um, their number three is eat often. So it's just, you know what, eat every few hours so you don't end up binging. Pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> tame your sweet tooth. So I have a client or had a client who loved those sour keys, right? And they're coated with sugar and super gummy and gooey, full of fructose and glucose and fructose and fructose, all this bad stuff, right? So what we did was um, we switched it over and we started having her eating raspberries with stevia sprinkled on top. So it you know, fulfilled that sweet and sour craving that she had, but obviously a lot healthier. There, number five is find the fat. And I'm gonna add, find the fat, cut out the bad fats, the trans fats, and eat the good fats like avocado and coconut oil. That is the fountain of youth, by the way. Start cooking with it. Um, so they are, you know, a, a, a huge fan of finding the good fats and to know your bad fats. Then, the next one is replace processed, chemically enhanced foods for wholesome, close to the farm foods. So if you're reading the ingredients and it didn't grow in the ground or it didn't come from Mother Earth, then yeah, you shouldn't eat it because it's chemicals. And um, if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it, plain and simple. And eat only until you are no longer hungry. So I presented a product a few videos ago entitled Bio's Life Slim, which is full of fiber and you drink it 10 minutes before your meal and it really helps in um, making you feel full even before you have a meal, especially during the holidays. I know we've got tons of Christmas parties um, coming up and family parties, so even if you don't have Bios Life Slim, I suggest maybe trying to have a smoothie before you go to the party. Just fill it with, you know, throw in some flax in there and some fruits and, you know, almond milk and just make it um, so that it's nice and filling, so that when you go to the party, you're not enticed by all the appies and the, you know, the fried things and the sweets and all that, because you're already coming into the party feeling full. And last but la not least, their last habit is, every once in a while, when the urge or circumstance dictates, it's all right to eat outside the guidelines, the guidelines of the other habits. So, for me, there are about 
uh, I would say 10 to 15 occasions where you're allowed to enjoy. So Christmas being one of them, New Year's, birthday parties, anniversaries, those occasions, guys, it's totally cool to indulge, um, you know, have that glass of wine, have that chocolate, um, just enjoy, right? Life is way too short, I can't even begin to tell you, right? So um, enjoy those occasions. So with that being said, um, if you are planning to indulge all, uh, throughout the holidays, then why not throw in a little workout to help burn those extra calories that you're gonna be eating? And one quick workout that we're gonna do today that takes four minutes is my Tabata Challenge. So, I'll put this down. For today's Tabata Challenge, we've got two awesome exercises that we're gonna complete in 20 seconds. And we're gonna alternate from e to each exercise. And within, in between each exercise, we have a 10 minute break to quickly drop to the floor, write down our score, and then I'm gonna post it on my blog, and I really wanna challenge you to try it and try to beat my score. Bring it on. Okay, so the first exercise, I call, I call it a squat floor touch, because we're literally gonna squat down through the floor, and our fingertips are going to graze the floor um, in your squat position, jump right up, okay? So we're gonna do as many as we can. So for example, this is one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna feel a gorgeous burn in your quadriceps, okay? And then we're gonna write down our scores within the 10 second break, jump back into our lovely equalizers. Now, if you don't have equalizers, you can do in and outs on the floor like so. But if you do have equalizers, and I highly recommend that you get a pair, um, hold on to the bars and you're gonna exhale, drive the knees into your chest and you're touching the floor ever so slightly, so you're not putting your full weight into the floor. That's it, that's all folks, four minutes. I'm gonna put my Tabata timer on, on my iPhone. We're gonna have 10 seconds before we rock and roll. Or actually five seconds, I believe. Okay, starting with our squat floor touch. Woo hoo hoo, make sure to breathe, here we go. to feel like lead.
last one, guys. So, you're definitely going to feel your legs kicking in, your quads. Keep your belly button sucked into your spine. As you come down into your squat, try, if you can't touch the floor and you can only go here, that's okay. Just make sure you keep a long neutral spine. Keep your core nice and tight. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And here, again, exhale when you drive your knees into your chest. Belly button will sucked right into your spine. Or if you don't have equalizers, you can perform in and out on the floor. Well team, it's been an awesome year. This is my last YouTube video for 2011. So it's been an awesome and my pleasure. And I hope that you have learned a lot over the past 2011 with all my helpful hints. And I really encourage you guys to try these Tabatas, especially when you're super busy or you don't have time and you need to squeeze out a really quick, quick, quick workout, this is definitely better than nothing, okay? So with that being said, happy holidays to all of you. Portion control, enjoy your holidays. Renew, refresh, restore your mind and body. Get crystallized.